Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Today we're going to go ahead and do a special reading. This one is going to be what is blocking you? What is holding you back? What are your what's your current obstacle right now? What's something that you can change within yourself, your dynamic in order to move forward to obtain the blessings that are awaiting you? All right. So it is a pick a card a pick a card we are going to be doing pile one two and three i put those crystals there for you to help you pick out i am going to do the live shuffling as a lot of people enjoy that so these are the five decks that we are going to be using okay this is the heal yourself reading cards by inna seagal this is the daily guidance from your angels this is the rebel deck the goddess guidance and the angel therapy so these are the five decks that we will be using okay the first deck is going to be what you can heal within yourself what it is that's blocking you and then the other four um decks are going to give us the guidance and the advice in order for you to turn that around free yourself from this to move forward to be able to manifest and attract the things that you do want in your life all right so as i stated this is a pick a card you can use this crystal um, for deck one this one for deck two and this one for deck three pick whichever one you're most drawn to the timestamps will be in the description box below as always this is a general reading so i ask that you please come into this reading with an open mind for some of you this can feel like a personal reading it can feel like i'm directly talking to you while others it can be hit and miss some things will resonate some things won't so just take the parts that do leave the rest that do not all right i have plenty of videos on my channel so if this is not your message if you're not getting something out of it you can check out one of my other videos i'm sure there's one that will speak to you all right if you enjoy this video you enjoy my content please subscribe if you have not done so already give me a like drop me a comment let me know how things are playing out that really helps my channel so i appreciate all of you guys that do give that support and feedback all right, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. For those of you who chose POW 1, okay, this is your message. We're starting with the Heal Yourself Oracle deck. Okay, we're gonna see what blockages, what it is that's blocking you, what's keeping you held back. Why are you unable to manifest or attract the things that you want in your life? What's going on there? love isn't the love isn't love a blockage for many people so you have love um the number 28 okay so there's something regarding some type of relationship some type of love dynamic something that's holding you back all right the number is 28 which can be simplified to a 10 and 10 is all about ending cycles breaking free you know ending one thing to start something new all right, and the book reads, love, let go of your limiting beliefs about love. Your heart desires more connections, love and nourishment. You are, you are at a point in your life where you need to learn how to truly give and receive love. Fully opening your heart will awaken your vulnerability, sensitivity, and fear. In particular, your fear of reject, rejection and intimacy with another person. However, you will also unleash your passion, inspiration, greatness, and an ability to care deeply. Start seeing how great life is and, will, and be willing to connect to others. If you have been holding on to past pain, then it is time to acknowledge, feel, and move forward. Give yourself permission to let people in. Ask for love with all your heart and soul and it will come. Look for something beautiful in every person you encounter. Focus on feeling good. Whenever you see people loving each other and know this is coming in for you in a form of love of a lifetime or an incredible friendship. All right. Then there's an action here. All right. It says focus on your heart. Take some slow, deep breaths. Imagine unlocking the door to your heart. What does your heart look like? Is it cold, frozen, and dark? Or is it full of warmth, light, and sweetness? 
If it's cold and gray, imagine melting the coldness with yellow light. Who do you need to communicate with so that your heart can heal? Imagine that this person is in front of you now. Say what you need to share without holding back. Now step into their shoes and answer back from the highest place within them. Give yourself permission to experience an open heart. Every time you want to close your heart, take some deep breaths and choose to keep it open, even if it hurts. Okay. Um, and I do apologize when I'm reading the book. Sometimes I stumble over my words because I'm also receiving messages or when I say a certain word, it's triggering certain thoughts within me that I want to address in the reading. And it, sometimes it throws me off track because as we all know, the mind is a crazy place. So you focus on one thing and then your mind is trying to have you do other things. So sometimes when I'm reading from the books, that's why I don't care really to read from them. But for this specific card, they have certain messages I wanted to relate to you. All right. But if we look here at the actual card, okay, and you zoom in. She's holding a necklace in her hand with a green gem. Green is the sacred, um, green is the heart chakra. All right. And that's the color that's associated with the heart chakra. That's the color that you need for your heart to be in balance. So in order for you to heal your heart, open your heart, you can envision it in a green light. You can also use pink. Um, some people substitute the green for pink regarding love and the heart chakra. But you can um, surround yourself with, uh, you know, just the color green. Or if you're into crystals, maybe you could wear a green crystal necklace. You could wear green clothing, you know, s simple things like that um, that will help you empower, take over this green energy. All right. But a lot of you guys have been hurt in love or the way that you're thinking about love is different because if you look over here there's wine spilled you know so crying over you know that term like spilled milk spilled wine whatever and then there's even a little looks like a voodoo doll there with a heart with a pin stuck in its heart i'm trying to bring it as close as i can without it getting out of focus all right, it's so a little voodoo doll there with a pin stuck in its heart. So this is indicating heartbreak, all right? So some of you guys are, have been dealing with heartbreak and that's what's blocking you. you. You feel like you can't attract love or you feel like you can't love again because you've been hurt, because you know, you're healing or because you're so focused on that pain from that heartbreak that it's really um, creating havoc in every other area of your life. All right, so do the action that it was talking about, but just focus on you. What is it that you need to do? All right, this is the daily guidance from the angels oracle deck. Okay, we're gonna, now we're gonna start pulling from the other four oracle decks to see what the advice is in addition. All right, so love is what is blocking you. Love is what is blocking you. You know, really think about, you know, what was it? Why, why were you hurt? You know, what, what? Okay, one jumped out. <laughs> and then look what it was. See only love. See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings. And see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. And like that, um, the action it was telling you was to step into that person's shoes because maybe the person isn't willing to recognize their wrongdoing or willing to apologize or be as sincere as you need them to be, which is why it's telling you to envision it and for you to step into that person's shoes and respond how you, you know, how you will want them to respond to you, to give you that kind of closure. But it's also telling you see, see love in that person. In everybody, there's good and there's bad. There's light, there's dark, you know. 
there's the light part that we're seeing but then there's also the shadow aspect of us that you know we need to work on to be a better person for ourselves not only for our partner so this is telling you just see love if you want love look for the love in everybody know that this person is not all bad not all evil not you know such a horrible person yes they may have done a horrible thing um and they may or may not have learned the lesson you know they may some of them may still be repeating the same you know horrible patterns and stuff like that but guess what that's their journey and those are the and they have to live with the choices that they made you don't you get to move forward you get to close that chapter and move forward all right so you just need to see love in the situation what can you learn from the situation you know maybe seeing this person in a higher light instead of seeing them you know as this horrible evil monstrous person will help you heal help you move forward because everyone's truth is different so if you ask somebody why they did something if they're embarrassed most of the time they'll say they don't know or if they know they're wrong they'll say they don't know they won't give you an answer because they don't want to admit to their wrongdoings they they are embarrassed but at the end of it whenever they finally open up every person always feels justified in what why they did what they did or they felt reason behind why they did what they did oh i did this because you did this or you didn't do this or i felt this way or i didn't think it was this bad like there will always be a reason behind something so just try to understand and find that reason so that you can move forward whether you agree with it or not okay this is the goddess guidance oracle deck but you got two cards right there talking about love so you need to heal from this love. Then you have easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So don't rush your healing. Don't rush trying to find a partner. Don't rush um, feeling like you're running out of time. You know, just take your time. Know that this healing process does take time and you're entitled, you're, it's normal for you to feel hurt, for you to feel betrayed, for you to feel however it is that you feel, which is why now you're skeptical about love. You don't want to open to love or, you know, whatever lower vibrating emotions you're feeling because of what was done to you. However, you were hurt in a relationship, you know, that's normal. So just take your time and know that it's a process. You're not just gonna heal overnight. If we really care about somebody, it's not just a switch that you can just flip and you know, literally not give a shit about them the next day. Yeah, we can say it. Yeah, our anger and our ego can you know make us actually say those words like, you know what, I don't give a shit about this person. I don't give a shit what they do. You know, but at the end of the day, once you calm down, once the, those emotions settle, you know, you, you still do some ha have some type of emotional ties to that person. You know, you do still have some type of feelings toward that person. And that's what you need to heal. You need to heal. You need to release and you need to let go so that you can move forward. OK, but understand that it is a process. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not just a switch. Okay, so you don't need to be surrounding yourself with people that's just like, oh, you know what, you can just do this. Oh, you know, don't worry about that. Like, no, that's not how it works. You know, you're gonna be upset, things are gonna happen, you're gonna feel some type of way, and that's normal. Acknowledge those feelings, let it be for a little bit, but just make sure you don't allow it to consume you. That's the key. Feel it, experience it, learn from it, and move forward every day is a new day every day is a new opportunity if this person is meant for you they'll come back around they'll apologize and, and then it's ultimately up to you 
whether or not you will accept this apology you'll move forward with them or you know whatever the case is or you've or you've closed the chapter and you've learned what you needed to and you know you accept the apology but you know you don't want to you don't want to go through that again so this is the angel therapy oracle and you have mediumship you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones okay so some of you guys may be connecting with ancestors passed on uh family members Um, your guardian angels, spirit guides, some of you guys may, okay, but either way, um, and some of my other videos, I've always said, you know, that everybody has ability to read cards. Everybody has abilities to manifest what they want, to do magic, to do, you know, use the law of attraction. Everyone has these abilities in them. But the way that we're raised, the way that we're brought up, society, our environment, the logicalness of it all, the practicality of it all. You know, sometimes we don't believe what we can't see. And if you can't physically see it with your naked eye, then it's harder for you to believe because then you need to have faith. You need to use your imagination. Um, but if this is something that you want to pursue, this can also be another avenue for you to heal. Usually when things happen, when you know traumatic events happen, that's when people want to go find God. That's when you see people going to church more. You know, it's like when it has, it has to be some traumatic event for an individual to hit rock bottom to then want to believe in a higher power because they feel like they have nothing else and they don't have control. All right. And this can be how you feel right now. Like you just, you know, your whole world is upside down and you need to believe in a higher power. You need to believe that there is more. And this avenue of mediumship can be something that you can look into and pursue and try to unlock that gift, that, that part of you in order for you to heal. OK, so that's just something to consider. All right, now this is the Rebel deck. And this is going to be the last message of the reading. It actually went a little longer than I would have liked, but there were some messages that was coming in. Everyone dealing with heartbreak and, you know, issues with love. It's never a simple little quick fix, one answer to everyone's problems. So this one definitely took longer than planned for. Okay, but your last message is stop sleeping so damn much. <laughs> so some of you guys may have been sleeping because you're like in this funk, in this depressive energy or just not wanting to get out of bed, feeling like you don't have anything going for yourself. Maybe that's what it is. And yes, getting your eight hours of sleep is important. It is recommended. Okay, we all need sleep to recharge to heal, to give our mind and our body a break. But oversleeping, it, it can do the opposite effect of having enough sleep, okay? So having enough sleep and sleeping too much are not one in the same. They are different. And if you oversleep, then you start getting into that sluggish mentality. You, even though you slept so much, you still feel tired. You still feel fatigued. You feel exhausted and you haven't done nothing. Um, you know, you're not allowing your body to get activity how you should. And then also sleeping when you sleep too much, that can also cause weight gain. All right. Um, that can also cause weight gain. And in the current, you know, state of the world that we're in right now, a lot of people are not getting as much activity as they should because of everything going on and everything not open and you can't gather in groups and, you know, so it's, it's different. People feel more safe in their homes than in the outside world. And that's lowering activity. All right. When you're not having activity or exercise or getting fresh air or up being up and about, 
you know that that plays a role in your in your mental health as well as your physical health okay being a, a couch potato sleeping all day that that's not good it, it's not good okay so you don't want to just sleep your days away because you're depressed because you're in this funk because you feel like you don't you don't have nothing to get up for all right and it says wake up you are missing some cool shit <laughs> so the point is you you need to get up and go about your day you can't just stay in this funk you can't just stay um in position in bed all day you need to get up you need to go you need to get dressed you need to feel good again you need to do little things to help you feel like you again okay and heal so i hope this was the message you needed to hear until next time many blessings for those of you who chose pal 2 this is your message okay we're starting with the heal yourself oracle cards we're going to see what's blocking you what's preventing you to be able to manifest and attract the things that you want in your life and then we're going to use the other four oracle decks to see what guidance and action you can take you have unleash your creativity the number 31 all right, 31 is simplified to a four, which is all about stability, security, foundations. All right, so that can you can be feeling like you're stuck and blocked in those areas in your financial security, your stability, your foundation with a partner, your home life. You know, there's something that you feel blocked in and the the key to it is to unleash your creativity come up with creative ways to combat this blockage creative ways to overcome this creative ways to keep the the spark alive in the relationship creative ways to get forgiveness from a person that you've wronged or hurt or offended creative ways to bring financial income, creative ways to get a side hustle going on, you know, different things, creative ways to market your business, to start a business, creative ways for your resume so you can stand out from the crowd, like unleash your creativity, all right, is, is, is what will help you overcome this blockage. You're not being your authentic creative self, you're suppressing it for some reason. All right, but the book reads, unleash your creativity. Your creative talents and abilities are your most powerful assets. Allow your imagination to roam without limits and access new ideas without judging them. It is time for you to be innovative and birth unique creations. If you are feeling stuck, get up and move, try new things, meet new people, read books, paint, etc. Concentrate on the area of your life where you need to be creative. Are you a great singer who needs to share your talents with others? Do you have an affinity with gardening? Can you tell powerful stories? Are you technically minded? Can you whip up amazing meals? What is your special flavor of creativity? Whatever it is, give yourself permission and the time to be intensive inventive the more creative you allow yourself to be the more fulfilled you are going to feel and then the action that you can take is focus on a challenge and ask yourself is this true or are there other points of view i can adopt in relation to this issue take some pencils and pens and draw these options without judging or limiting them then stand up and ask your higher intelligence to show you new ways of doing things. Put on some music and dance. When the song ends, ask yourself, what other possibilities and creative ideas can I access? Take a pen and paper and write them down. So those were just some ways for you to go ahead and unleash that creativity. All right. Now. I'm also getting that um, one of your chakras can be blocked okay and this can be 
the the solar plexus and the sacral chakra all right so you will want to make sure that you don't have a blockage in your sacral and solar plexus chakra the solar plexus chakra is is represented by yellow all right and it works with your self-esteem your um pleasure your willpower your personal responsibility so if that's low then you don't feel the willpower you don't feel the motivation in, or in order to take action and act upon the creativity then the sacral chakra is represented by the orange by orange and that has to do with creativity repressed creativity all right and it also has to do with um, some sexual energies and stuff like that so make sure that you that the you don't have blockages here i do have a chakra video in the description box you can click it to find other ways to clear that out if that's the case all right and i am getting yellow because the stone that you picked too okay which uh really has to do with uh both because that's a like a yellow orange color all right now we're gonna pull from the daily guidance from the angels this is all other ways in order for you to block this so that you can find creative ways to channel um your creativity and find solutions to your problems find other avenues whatever it is that you need to do there is nothing to worry about you are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation and ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly and through you all right so you don't have anything to worry about whatever it was that you were worried about that you were repressing that you're having issues with you you don't need to worry about anything everything is going to work out you just need to be able to be in tune with yourself let yourself be yourself don't hold back don't repress your creativity because you can find solutions to your own problems if you allow yourself the opportunity to okay so have faith in whatever situation and everything will work out all right this is the goddess guidance okay so that's confirmation for some of you guys that may have been panicking been paranoid been worried needed confirmation that this message was for you because you're very worried about stuff and you have mother mary expect a miracle have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered so there's that repeated message again you have one there's nothing to worry about okay and it's telling you you know that the situation's under control it's going to work out and then here you go expect a miracle your prayers have been heard and they are being answered and you may receive that answer that guidance that solution through being creative it may take something creative something out of the box something you didn't initially think would work you know something unique something a little weird something unorthodox something different you know that goes against the normal or your normal you know it, the solution may not always be how you envisioned it Okay. and then this is the angel therapy and you have cancel clear delete use only positive words and thoughts that's that same message here only infuse loving thoughts and emotions only use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking so that's all you need to do you need to clear your energy focus on good positive things okay have faith think positively and ha have faith and know because you had confirmation i mean we have several repeating messages here you watching me shuffle on camera these were not pre-picked 
to you know align or whatever you see me shuffling and all that and it's the same repeat a message look at that stop talking shut your mouth and listen again you can be your own worst enemy okay you can be your own worst enemy i i tell people a lot that our, our thoughts are powerful okay there's magic in our thoughts in our mind what is it that we're thinking about what are we focusing on and then look at your external environment if you're always a negative person expecting the worst thinking the worst focusing on the bad things that are happening focusing on the things that are not working out then guess what you're attracting more things that won't work out more bad things more negative things that is what you're attracting attracting that's what you're focusing your attention on that's where you're placing your energy so that's what's going to keep coming towards you that is the vibration that you are on that's why you've had these three messages now four telling you to have faith telling you to think positively think and say positive things okay use positive emotions because the negative thinking can, from the past can be why you know you're in this specific situation or why this certain thing didn't work out why you have this blockage in the first place okay so just stop talking about what's not working out stop talking about the the past stop talking about the bad things the negative things all right try to get a grip on that anger resentment worry fear whatever it is release that now hone in on your creativity focus on the good maybe this can be a good distraction maybe there's a hobby paint sing dance knit draw color decorate something creative do something creative and you know focus on that so that your attention is on something else rather than those negative thoughts and then as those negative thoughts this uh, put, uh go away then you can bring in the more positive okay the good all right so group number two i hope this is what you needed to hear and until next time many blessings for those of you who chose three, pal three, this is your message. Okay. Right off the bat, I was attracted to the crystal that you guys chose. Okay, that crystal um, deals with the root chakra. Those are colors for the root chakra. So some of you guys may have a root chakra blockage which is all about you know our security our survival our foundation what we build our life upon safety all right and you may have some scattered energies regarding anxiety fear um feeling unstable unsecure and you just want to make sure that you remove any blockages there all right so that may be the message that we're going to get or that may be something entirely different all right your card is love if you were drawn to pile one you may also want to check out pile one because pile one also got that then at the bottom of the deck it's hole in the soul so i'm gonna take that one as well because pile one also got love so i'm gonna take i'm gonna take those two if you were if you were skeptical or torn between which pile to pick at the beginning of the reading and you you didn't know if you wanted to go with pile one or three but you ended up choosing pile three also check out um the pile one message as well because they got the love card all right so we are going to start with the love card all right so some of you guys have been wronged you know feeling hurt heartbroken because she's also you know got blood here in the heart area as well a hole in the soul you know like you feel you got a hole in your heart you know like you're very heartbroken okay and it was done for, by somebody because in both pictures we have somebody standing behind the feminine energy 
okay which is the perpetrator so someone you're feeling victimized you're feeling like a victim because someone hurt you in some way all right but the love the love message is let go of your limiting beliefs about love your heart desires more connections love and nourishment you are at a point in your life where you need to learn how to truly give and receive love fully opening your heart will awaken your vulnerability sensitivity and fear in particular your fear of rejection and intimacy with another person however you will also unleash your passion inspiration greatness and ability to care deeply start seeing how great life is and be willing to connect to others if you have been holding on to past pain then it is time to acknowledge feel and move forward give yourself permission to let people in ask for love with all your heart and soul and it will come look for something beautiful in every person you encounter focus on feeling good whenever you see people loving each other and know that this is coming to you in a form of a love of a lifetime or an incredible friendship like i said if you chose if you were torn between pile one also check that out because i go more into detail since that was the card that came out on other ways to block it okay then you have the hole in your soul which you know these two to me tie together that's why i was drawn for the second card all right and 36 is your childhood wounds are creating a hole in your soul one way your childhood wounds disrupt an extraordinary life is through low-grade depression experienced as perpetual empty feeling as a perpetual empty feeling so it's what you're thinking like you're just feeling empty you're in search of something always in search of something to fill this void within you if as a child you try to make everything all right by picking up the pieces of your family dramas then you adopted a false self when you lose your authentic self you disconnect from your true feelings needs and desires instead you wear a mask to make others feel more comfortable being detached leads to profound loneliness and isolation as you are always mourning your true self this card encourages you to discover your true self through learning about your childhood and mourning the abandonment and neglect you felt so some of you guys may have had some deep-seated childhood issues childhood trauma and they can even be minor they can be minor simple little things um but for whatever reason it had a big impact on you and this could have left a void in you that's why you're always in search of something but you yourself are a quite detached person because you're trying to protect yourself you're trying to shield yourself from being hurt again from being disappointed again from you know getting another hole in your soul another hole in your heart another heartache heartbreak but ultimately because you are putting up this resistance to this that is what you're attracting all right so love can be what it is that you desire it's it's what you want it's what you feel you're missing you want a loving partner you want a loving relationship you want some type of um loving foundation but you yourself may not be loving you yourself may not be giving love or opening to love or being vulnerable in love so how can another do that be that to you or even if that person is still willing to give their all but you're not giving your all then how will you will you expect that person to stick around or for the relationship to you know progress and do better and be successful it takes both sides to make it work all right so you really need to focus on what are you holding why are you holding back why are you stopping yourself what are you keeping yourself from okay so 
moving forward we're going to use the angel the daily guidance of the angels all right so that is your blockage that's what's blocking you love and feeling like a victim holding yourself back in love not being all the way open to love or maybe you're doing what i'm getting is also you're doing something in your relationships that you wouldn't like to be done to you or something that was done to you in the past like maybe you weren't shown proper love growing up as a child so now you're giving this type of love that's not healthy maybe you were shown toxic relationships growing up and now you yourself are that toxicity in the relationship you know it could be a hard pill to swallow something tough to hear but you can be giving out the same thing that that made you feel this this way in the first place what made you be this def defensive person what made you not want to give your all in love what made you feel you know you don't like to feel vulnerable and stuff like that because this specific thing was done to you or you seen it you experienced it that's how you can be making your partner feel or you can be doing the same thing to your partner if you were not shown love maybe your strong shoe your strong suit is not you're you're not showing love either you know like that's not your strong suit that's not your your strong uh characteristic you know you have an issue with making another feel loved or when the going gets tough when things happen maybe you're one to leave you know and then you're leaving this person feeling abandoned because maybe you felt abandoned when you were younger maybe you were kicked out maybe you were abandoned maybe there was nobody there for you giving you time you felt neglected and then in your relationships you're also doing that in different ways so you really need to heal within yourself in order to attract a healthy successful love relationship all right and then the card that you have is law of attraction each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends so invest wisely you have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love peace and harmony at your request we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies all right so if love is what you want then you need to attract it you need to focus on that don't think about the things that didn't work out if there is a partner or a relationship you want to reconcile then instead of focusing on what didn't work out focus on how can you save it how can you refurbish it how can you bring healing to that relationship the positive things we can't change the past but we can change the future okay we're makers of our future and our thoughts are very powerful and if you have issues with focusing so much on the negative and not on the positive and you can't make that shift yourself consciously then make sure like the card said ask the higher beings ask your angels ask your spirit guides ask the higher power whatever it is that you specifically believe in ask god you know ask whoever that you believe is the higher power ask for help okay because none of the ex none of these higher beings these energies can help us unless we give them permission because here on earth we have free will so if you don't ask your angels for help you don't ask your spirit guides for help you don't ask your ancestors for help you don't ask god for help you don't ask whoever you believe in for help then they can watch you fall on your ass time and time again until you ask for help. They cannot do anything until you give them permission to intervene in your life, to help you, to guide you, to protect you, to help put you on the right path, okay? Um, the, anal the analogy that I like to use that makes it easier for people to understand is it's like a sports game, okay? Let's take let's take basketball for example 
you have certain amount of players on a team, right? But not all of those players are allowed to play in the game at the same time. That's why usually they have them broken up. The first part of the game, you know, X, these players, A, B, C, D will play. Then the second half of the game, when A, B, C, D are tired, then E, F, G, H can go in and play. So, but during the time that A, B, C, D is playing and they're in the game and you know they're doing what they need to do to get points you know efgh they they have no impact they all they can do is cheer the other players on they could yell calls they can yell hey do this do that but they cannot actually intervene they cannot actually take any physical action until they are allowed to step onto that court until they are given permission to enter the game. And that's how they are. You know, our angels, our guides, spirit, higher beings, light beings, our ancestors, they're all sitting there on the sidelines. They're sitting there on the bench waiting for us to tag them in, waiting for us to give them permission to help us, to protect us, to guide us, to bless us to heal us. So make sure that you are paying attention to that and connect, communicate, give that permission or else they cannot help you. All right, moving forward. Here is the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. Okay, some other guidance on what to do to clear out these blockages here. Quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Yes. Again, go over, you know, why are you in the situation? What, what part are you playing in this, you know, in this situation, in this issue? What part are you playing? Really focus on that. Meditate. Connect with your, your higher beings. Okay. Spend some time alone. Don't be one of those people that always wants to be distracted and distract yourself with so much stuff that you're never given time to really get to the root of the problem. You can go through life with so many distractions, but until you take the time to intentionally get to the problem, learn how you played a part in this, you know, what can you do to better yourself? How can you be a better person for you and for your partner? then that will it will never happen you can distract yourself with so many different things but you won't actually ever heal anything if that's how you're going to go about it so don't be one of those foolish people that just wants to you know just live life through distraction so that they're not actually feeling their emotion that they're not actually experiencing the hurt and the pain that they need to in order to overcome and be better and learn and do better and change for the better for themselves because at the end of the day if you change for the better you become a better person you break these bad habits these addictions these patterns these behaviors Yes, it can benefit your partner because now those things that were once an issue are not an issue anymore. But at the end of the day, who's benefiting out of that more? It will be you because then you won't be that person struggling with these addictions, these bad behaviors, these patterns, these habits, these things that can be that are an issue that are causing this turmoil in your life right now. Okay. And that's what a lot of people, why a lot of people are reluctant to change because they're like, oh, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not changing for you and all that. But by you making yourself a better person, by you learning your flaws and trying to do better and trying to be better, you're the one ultimately that's going to pay off because then you're attracting blessings. Okay, so make sure you change your perspective on that as well. Okay, this is the angel therapy and you have workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. At this point, I'm getting right now, 
Maybe one day you can grow to be a teacher. Once you healed everything within yourself, you can be someone to give advice. You can be someone to teach others on how to do it because you went through the shitty journey. You went through the difficult path. You had to learn the hard way. And you can be one of those people that can help others that come after you. You know, you can give that wise wisdom. But right now, you have to have an open mind and you have to be willing to learn. You have to be willing to talk about certain things, you know, have a different perspective, be open to change, to healing, to learning different things. And then you can one day pass that knowledge on to those that come after you, to those that may be having the same issues as you. All right, so maybe look up some more videos, attend workshops, seminar, counselor, therapist, whatever it is that you're attracted to. Read a book, okay? Then you have, be, great, be grateful, okay? Shit could be much worse. That's what it wants you to know. All right, so be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what you have and just know that things can be worse. You may, like I said, you may feel like your life is in turmoil right now. And, but you just need to be grateful and know that things can be worse. Like, are you counting your blessings? Are you being grateful for your blessings? Or are you focusing on the things that are not working? Yeah, you may have had a shitty childhood. Yeah, you may have some bad habits, some bad behaviors, but guess what? Things can be worse. You know why? Because these are things that you can change. No, you cannot change your past. You cannot change your childhood, but you can change the behavior that's causing this turmoil. You can change your thoughts. You can change the patterns. You can break the cycles. You can change your future. Whatever issue you are having today, you do not need to have that same issue tomorrow if you are willing to make the necessary changes. So be grateful, be appreciative that you have the opportunity, that you hold the power to make yourself a better person, to do better, to heal from your childhood trauma, to break whatever cycle keeps disrupting your relationships, to break whatever pattern or thoughts or shield that you have up that's preventing you to be the best partner to somebody that's blocking your love, that's blocking your ideal relationship, that's blocking your method of communication, that's blocking your learning, you can change that, so be grateful because there are things in this life that people cannot change. There are situations that people cannot change. You know, so it could be much worse, okay? So don't focus on the negative and focus on the positive. What can you change about the situation? How can you make things better? How can you do better? How can you attract better love? Do you owe somebody an apology? Do you need to right your wrongs? Do you need to break this negative toxic behavior? What do you need to do? And do it. And then the change will happen. Now, it may not be a walk in the park, but don't quit when the going gets tough. You need to keep going on for you to come out on the other side. All right, so I hope this was the message you needed to hear. And until next time, many blessings.